tentacles. I saw some Blender videos on creating procedural tentacles and wondered, could I do something similar in Modo? Of course, whether I can do something is distinct from whether it can be done. But here goes. Prepare for your journey into a Lovecraftian nightmare. I'll start by creating two meshes. One will be the tentacle recipe, and the other will contain the curves which will describe their shape. In the tentacle mesh, add an n-sided primitive and set its type to polyline. Set the side count to 10 and change the size to 100 millimeters in both X and Y. You may want bigger or smaller tentacles, of course. That is your private business and none of my concern. In the curves mesh, create a single tentacle-shaped curve. We can edit this or add more later. Back in the tentacle mesh, add a curve sweep operator and select the curves mesh as the path and choose a number of steps that gives mostly squarish looking polygons. I'll rotate it by 18 degrees, which is 360 divided by 10 divided by 2, to line up the polygon faces with the x-axis. Select Flip. We can now adjust the scale gradient to get a more tentacular looking form. Let's bevel out the back of the tentacle. Add a polygon bevel operator and then a select by pattern. The tentacle has 10 sides, so we want to have 5 unselected polygons followed by 5 selected. A pattern of 5 zeros and 5 ones is what we want. Now we can scale out the back. Unfortunately, this shows a bit of an issue with our plan. The bevel is the same size along the whole tentacle. It needs to be scaled down as the tentacle tapers. I'm going to use a curve falloff to fix this. Add a curve falloff to the tool pipe and select the curves mesh as the driver. Out of the box, the falloff is the wrong way around, so click Invert. If desired, you can adjust the falloff along the length of the gradient to get the desired effect but I'm just going to leave it as a linear falloff for now. Next up, the suckers. I'm going to use a sequence of bevels to create them, but first we need to select the right polygons. It's easiest to select these polygons early on in the operation stack. Add an assign selection set operator just above the curve sweep. Let's call it tentacle suckers. Add another select by pattern. We want to select two polygons on the tentacle side every other row. To skip a row we will need ten zeros, then select the two polygons using 01010, and finally finish the row with another five zeros. And set its type to polygon. Now add a polygon bevel to the top of the operations list and add a select by selection set and use the tentacle suckers selection set that we just created. Now bevel out the suckers to taste. We have our same problem. The suckers at the end of the tentacle are much too big. The solution is the same. We can reuse our curve fall off to attenuate the bevel. Or if you want more control, you can add a new curve fall off instead. Add a set polygon type to the top of the operations list and select Catmull Clark mode to smooth everything. To finish off the suckers, I'll add some more bevels. Each bevel will use select by previous operation, choosing the front face of the previous bevel to work on. I will use the curve falloff to modulate each of the bevels. Repeat this process with new bevels until you have something that resembles a sucker. We don't really need suckers all the way to the end. Add a select by falloff to the first sucker bevel and set its mode to multiply. Select the curve falloff and adjust the percentage to remove the smallest suckers. 
So long, suckers! Procedural operations can sometimes produce coincident vertices, which can create undesirable effects. To fix this, I'll add a vertex merge to the top of the stack. Finally, we need to close up the thin end of the tentacle. I'll use another vertex merge for this. We'll need to select the vertices at the thin end. Use a select by fall off with the curve fall off again to select everything but the end. Then invert the selection and add a select border with its blend mode set to multiply. This will select just the end vertices. Set the merge distance to something quite large to make sure all the end vertices are combined. The tentacle is nearly done, but it does look a bit too regular. We can rough it up a bit by adding a jitter operation into the operation stack. Next, add a select by selection set and grab the tentacle polygons. Jitter works with vertices, so we need to convert the selection type. The type you use here is the type you convert from, not the type you're converting to. In this case, we're converting from polygons. Adjust the jitter amount to create some randomness. It's probably a good idea to add the curve fall off to the jitter as well. That's it! One fresh tentacle. If we add more curves to the curve prototypes, we can get more tentacles.